In today's video, I'm bringing you my My Valentine 40 card deck profile, coming up. What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414 YGO. In today's video, I'm bringing you my My Valentine 40 card deck profile. And hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. So here it is, the deck that won the first 414 King of Games tournament. And this deck, you know, I've, I've profiled it on the channel before and you know, every time we deal with it, I'll say the same thing. This deck is unbelievable. For a deck that's, you know, its strongest monster is 2000 in attack, I, I, off the top of my head. It, it, it just it just takes down the biggest decks out there. I've run out of like words to describe this deck, but it's it just you know like the combos that you can get from this thing is is just solid. Uh, it's easy to pull off, and you just pull these combos off every time. So I think I've got the balance of like this deck anyway, just like so down. Uh, so I've got a lot of time for this deck, and it's you know it's really easy to understand why this deck won that tournament. So uh, I, I think any any time we do all against it, it's like you know. You're kind of on your toes against my, but it's unbelievable. So let me know what your comments on this deck is on, in the section below. But for me personally, I am really happy with it. But you know, with that being said, I'm going to start with the monsters. Okay, so up first, I run two copies of Dunamis Dark Witch. Uh, this is a really awesome card. I love the artwork on it for one. But secondly, it's a four star monster with 1,800 attack and 1,050 defense. It's just one of those nice four star monsters you can get out with a really strong attack and in character decks I, I say this like numerous times but these four star monsters with that like high attack really can give you the advantage early on in the duel sometimes even mid duel depending on what the situation is but uh, I run two of these in my deck just for a, a bit of power next up of course three harpy ladies so four star monster 1300 attack 1400 defense on its own not that great but this you know, really is an absolute staple in my deck, and all her combos really do uh, revolve around the Harpy Lady and the Harpy Lady kind of archetype. Uh, so, of course, my runs three, and yeah, it would be silly not to run this card at three in a my deck. On to the effect monsters, then. So, as well as the Harpy Ladies, my, of course, ran the, the Amazonas uh, ladies. We'll save for this one. So I'm, I'm starting off with Amazonas Chainmaster. Four star monster, 1,500 attack, 1,300 defense. Its effect is when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can pay 1,500 life points to look at your opponent's hand, select one monster card in it, and then add that card to your hand. Absolutely awesome. Of course, she used this against Marek to put the Wind Dragon of Bright in her hand, but she couldn't use it. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, in character deck duels, you know, this is really good. You know, uh, I think in any duel that would be pretty good, but you know, uh, I, I keep that at one just in case. Next up, we have Amazonas Fighter. Uh, quite the butch looking thing here. Four star monster, 1,500 attack, 1,300 defense. The awesome effect that this Amazonas has is that you take no battle damage from battles involved in this card absolutely awesome really cool it's just uh you can kind of put this 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 one down and just like have no, no worries about anything really <laughs> next up amazonas swordswoman uh four star monster one again uh once again 1500 attack and 1600 defense uh the opponent takes all battle damage to this card's controller that he or she would have taken from uh, a battle involving this card so once again it's a uh, kind of another monster you can lay down and just like have no worries about any life point uh, like any life point damage really cool this next one may cause some debate. So, of course, I run three Cyber Harpy Ladies, and a lot of people will probably say, yeah, but you run three Harpy Ladies, so, you know, you can't run this, because, of course, the effect of this is that the card's name is always treated as Harpy Lady. Um, but, you know, just to beef in the deck out, I, I guess in the show, my would have ran, like, three of each, so that that's my logic behind it. I mean, my doesn't have an awful lot of, like, monsters out there to pack out a 440, so it just makes sense to run both of them in there and it kind of pays tribute to you know to to like my as a character i guess you know having the harpy ladies from like daughter's kingdom onwards and then the cyber harpies from later on in the show uh, so that's why i run you know both of these in there uh, and i you know i in, in character deck duels, I don't really think that's going to be a problem. It hasn't been a problem anyway. Um, but of course, let me know. Leave your uh, leave your comment in the section below. But getting back to this uh, this this card here, so Cyber Harpy Lady, awesome four star monster, one thousand eight hundred attack, one thousand three hundred defense. So it's it's basically the same as Dynamis Dark Witch. It's a four star monster, 
um, with a big attack, but of course you can use the Cyber Harpy, um, so the Harpy Lady combos around this, so, you know, really cool. Uh, and I, I've, you know, personally no complaints about running this and Harpy Lady, uh, but I would say that I made the deck. Next up, I run two copies of Harpy Lady Sisters, uh, six star monster, the random 1950 attack, and 2100 defense. Of course, this card cannot be normal summoned or set, can only be special summoned by the effect of Elegant Egotist. Um, you know, so I run this at two instead of three, and two works absolutely perfectly, because by Elegant Egotist, you can search, you know, you can play it from your hand, from your deck. Um, so yeah, two is more than enough. Uh, I think if you run three, it'd just be a bit cloggy. So I, I keep this at two, and to be fair, you will see this pretty much every duel you'll play, because it's just how well Mai's deck works. And of course, you can boost the attack of this using Cyber, Sh Cyber Shield as well. So yeah, you can beef, beef these ladies up. Next up is the strongest monster in Mai's deck, uh, Harpy's Pet Dragon with an attack of 2,000. Uh, so it's a seven star monster, 2,000 attack, like I said, 2,500 defense. Uh, it, it can get stronger. The effect of it is the card gains 300 attack and defense for each Harpy Lady on the field. Uh, of course, you can flood it with Harpy Ladies. So this, this guy, I guess, could become quite strong. Um, but like I said, this is the strongest card in her deck. And for my deck to perform unbelievably well, uh, is is absolutely crazy. Sometimes you see this guy, sometimes you don't. Of course, you've got to tribute two to get him out and to make him strong. You need more Harpy Ladies on the field, so it's it's, it's quite hard, but it, it's it's been done. Next, I run three the unfriendly Amazon four star monster with two thousand attack and one hundred defense. So unbelievable for a four star monster. However, you know it's effect. You know you have to offer one of your monsters on the field as a tribute, ex excluding obviously this monster during each of your standby phases. If you can't, this card is destroyed. Monsters used for a tribute summon or that are offered as tributes due to other cards effects are excluded. So in a nutshell, you need to sacrifice to keep this lady on the field. Um, so that this is why I run three of them because majority of the time you don't pay the tribute. So most of the time you just play up, you know, get that attack off that turn and then next turn she'll be out of it. So very rare that you'll actually uh, tribute something to keep her on the field, so that's why I run her at three. Moving on to the spells then, so I'm gonna start with Amazonas Spellcaster. Uh, until the end of this turn, switch the original attack of one face-up monster on your side of the field that includes Amazonas in its card name or is named Amazonas Archer with the original attack of one face-up monster your opponent's side of the field. Speaks for itself, a really handy card can get you out of some really tight situations, which is awesome. Next up is a copy of Card of Sanctity, and like all my character decks, I play it the same way that you would in the show. So you basically draw until each player has six cards in their hand. Just don't know why they changed that uh, effect on there, because I think the original anime effect is is awesome. Next up, there's two copies of Cyber Shield. So it's an equip spell card. Uh, you equipped it to a Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters and it gains 500 attack. So this is what I was saying about Harpy Lady Sisters earlier. You can be for up to 2,450 or you can like boost one of your Harpy Ladies. It's going to take this to like 1,800. So it's not too bad. Or you can equip it to one of the Cyber Harpy Ladies if you're pro Cyber Harpy Lady in her. <laughs> Blast from the past, I run one copy of Dispel. So you destroy one magic card on the field. If that target is face down, flip it face up. If the card is a spell card, it is destroyed. If not, return it to its original face down position. And the flip card is not activated. Awesome. Just like I run two copies of uh, Harpy Lady Sisters, I also run two copies of Elegant Egotist, which is needed to summon the ladies. Um, you can only activate this card when there are one or more Harpy Lady on the field. Special summon one Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters from your hand or your deck. Awesome. Next up is a copy of Graceful Charity. So this is just draw power for the deck. Of course, you draw three cards, then you discard two. Next up, Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation. This card is really cool. You don't really tend to use it that often in character deck duels, but I, I think we've used it once or twice and it's been, yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, basically, if you control three or more Harpy Lady and or Harpy Lady Sisters, target as many monsters your opponent controls as possible, but not more than the total number of Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters you command. Destroy those targets. If you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the highest original attack among the destroyed monsters. Uh, your choice if tied, of course. You cannot special summon monsters from a main deck or extra deck, nor conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this card, which is fair enough, but, you know, really cool card. And of course, we saw, I think this was in Waking the Dragons. Uh, awesome card, and I'm so happy they printed it. Next up is probably the one of the best cards in Mai's deck. Uh, of course, um, I recently did a, a fact video on this one, which I released 
the video before this one in fact so check that out uh, but basically you destroy all, all spell and trap cards your opponent controls which is absolutely devastating in character deck duels believe me next up we have the staples so i have one copy of monster reborn and of course one copy of pot of greed more draw power for the deck final spell card is spell reproduction this is awesome so you spend <laughs> you send two spell cards from your hand to the graveyard select one spell card from your graveyard and then add it to your hand so you know if, if, if for some reason you've used your two elegant egotists and you need another one spell reproduction or you can grab back you know more dra drawing power or another Harpy's Feather Duster if you've used two already. Awesome, awesome card. Finally, on to the trap cards then. So, Amazonas Archers is first up. Activate only when your opponent declares an attack while you control an Amazonas monster. All monsters your opponent controls are changed to face up attack position, flip effect are not activated, and they lose 500 attack, as long as they remain face upon the field. Your opponent must attack with all of their monsters. So this card, if timed right, can be absolutely devastating. Really, really cool. Next up, I run two copies of Dramatic Rescue. Um, activate only when a card is activated that targets an Amazonas monster. Return the targeted monster to the owner's hand and special summon one other monster from your hand. So, you know, really awesome. Cool card. It will save you and it will give you a monster in return as well. So uh, I run two in there because it's just a really handy card to have in my deck. So if Harpy's Feather Duster wasn't enough, of course we have Dust Tornado as well. So you destroy one spell or trap card on your opponent's side of the field. You can then set one spell or trap card from your hand. Next up, I, I run a copy of Fairy's Hand Mirror. So switch the opponent's spell card effect that specifically designates one monster as a target to another correctly targeted monster. Uh, this is a newer card. So we've got Harpy's Feather Storm. Basically, if you control a wind winged beast type monster until the end of this turn, negate any monster effects your opponent activates. If you control a Harpy monster, you can activate this card from your hand. If this card in its owner's spell and trap card zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can add one Harpy's Feather Duster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Awesome card. Really cool. Next up, I run one copy of Mirror Wall. I used to run two in my deck, but I think the one will work just fine. It's a continuous trap card. Uh, classic my card as well. I think all the way back from uh, that duel between her and Yugi in Duelist Kingdom. Uh, but each of your opponent's monsters that conducted an attack while this card was face up on the field has its attack halved as long as this card remains face up on the field. During each of your standby phases, you have to pay 2,000 life points or destroy the card. So, you know, it can come at a bit of a gamble, but sometimes you'll just play it just for that one-off effect there. Next up, a copy of Shadow of Eyes. So, while your opponent sets a monster card in face down defense position, change it to face up attack position. If the monster card has a flip effect, it is not activated. So you can really kind of get your opponent on the ropes there, especially if they're trying to defend, just flip them over. Majority of the time, if they're trying to defend, the attack is not going to be stronger than yours, so you can really uh, cause some damage there. Final trap card is Trap Jammer. So it's a quick play trap card. When your opponent activates a trap card during the battle phase, negate the activation. If you do, destroy it absolutely yours awesome. but there we go that was my my valentine 40 card deck profile i hope you enjoyed the the uh, the deck profile there let me know what your thoughts of that are in the comment section below of course this is the deck that won the first four and four king of game tournament so i hope this gives you a bit more of an insight as to how it uh, achieved that but if you'd like to see more character deck profiles character deck duels Yu-Gi-Oh fact videos and more hit that subscribe button right now and if you found value in today's video, smash the like button, share this video with a friend, or leave me a comment in the section below. I'm on social media as well, so let's connect over there. But once again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.